नमस्कार वेलकम बैक हाउ आर यू गाइज डूइंग डूइंग गुड वेरी गुड सो यस सो टुडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग अबाउट वॉट रॉयल एनफील्ड इज ऑफरिंग एंड आई फाउंड समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू शेयर विद यू गाइज सो सिंस इट इज बीन अ लॉकडाउन पीरियड एंड वेकर्स आर नॉट सेलिंग लार्ज नंबर सो रॉयल एनफील्ड हैव कम आउट विद एन ऑफर सो टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ this month they are offering for i think for most of the vehicles out there and especially for interceptors uh, it is for interceptors that you get a free extended warranty period and also the best part is you get uh, 7000 rupees of accessories free on your vehicle a total of 10000 rupees off on uh, royal and fees and uh, since i got it offer and i have to do my accessories i thought it would be a nice video to share what is there on the website uh, about customizing or a configurator for the in- interceptor so let's get started so yeah so i'm going forward for this color palette as uh, is seen on the display and the idea is uh, if you see all the color palettes are subtle it has the golds it has the reds it has the chrome it has the silver so it's, it's a very subtle pattern pattern from compared to other colors which i have chosen and i wanted to actually make it very simple and uh, mostly i want to stick on to uh, something which i am uh, very happy with because it does the job and nothing extra so since they are giving 7k on accessories uh so i can choose either going for the uh gloves or this riding jacket or a boots or the helmet since i have those accessories i just want to customize a vehicle so uh, as it might add value towards it and after going through few uh, very good uh, videos on explaining these products online i already have an idea so first of all i will obviously go with the sum guard So let's see how much is the sum card. Huh? Uh, so it will come under uh, protection. So this will actually keep clear from all the mud falling onto the oil filter and rest of the other components. And every time the vehicle goes for service the, or or the oil change, the oil filter has to be changed. So the sum card has to be removed. Going for oil and fuel parts means that. you will have proper quality and the finish will be done up for the interceptor so that's one of the main reasons for going for those parts is around 1850 rupees which is fine add that to the cart and i wanted to actually go for compact engine guard than the bigger one uh, the basic idea is to prevent uh, 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 damage when it falls down especially for lx but i make sure that i ride properly and i feel the compact engine guard will make the whole vehicle feel nice and soft like exposing the oh, so many parts so that one so it's 2900 rupees and and the best thing is that in the configurator it gives you an option see oh god it go game with four gators four gators quote file up okay four gators that is important four gators let's see where it is so that i think it still comes under protection of uh, engine So the main idea is actually to prevent dust or accumulating near the oil, uh, the the uh, fork seal guards. Uh, fork gate gives the beefiness for the vehicle. The front part gets that beefy look because of that. And and eight fifty is a little expensive. I know the clamps over there will rust, so I'd make sure that it doesn't rust. Uh, uh, and overall, it gets the appeal. Now, if you look at a vehicle, it doesn't stand out. The the accessories don't make the vehicle stand out. It gives it a subtle approach. Now, I had a confusion after this. What to do? Uh, the the point is actually whether going for uh, the the something related with body works, where uh, I get a short uh, fly screen, which actually correctly puts it at that seven thousand rupee mark, which is good for me because I don't have to spend extra. but i really don't uh, get the appeal for the fly screen because uh, it just is too loud showing royal and feel with that poster over there with the aluminum badging 
it it is of quality uh, but i am not getting appeal but one more important thing which i wanted to point out is these uh, screws which are there on top it is not finished properly and it feels like an instrument cluster is just posted over there so to cover it up it is a good option so that is one in my head but the other things which i could put are two other accessories uh, what i wanted to put was uh, Mm, now I'm not going for new seats. This this seat will do just fine for now, and uh, for the engine, yeah, ex especially the engine. I really like the idea of cream bringing that milled oil uh, cap. I mean, it's not a thing which everyone will notice, but for me personally, that knurling and that Royal Enfield batching, it actually looks really good. Even after adding it, I don't see any accessory change, but you guys can even take a note of that. And since none of my vehicle components require a black over finish on top because it already looks very good complemented with the chrome finish i would not add any black components on top of it i don't want to add uh, except for uh, we have the um, for the brakes yeah, let me see where it is um brakes yeah Finisher kit, I'm not going to put that. Hand, handlebar braces, no, I'm not interested in it. As I'll be mounting some other components on it. Oh, on the controls. The Touring uh, rear mirror kit uh, is too complex. The, the way it looks and, and and the price. I mean, like doesn't look that appealing for me right now. I might go with some other mirrors, but okay. I would go for the standard ones. Uh, the one thing which I wanted to put was the machined uh, front reservoir because when you see that component something would be written on top of it either saying that don't fill it beyond the maximum limit or something so I thought putting that component there might make a difference in the way the overall vehicle looks so I just added that but visually there's no change uh, other things which I also noted is I didn't want to go with the silver because then that will be all black and then there will be a silver on top which doesn't look appealing uh machined bar ends uh it looks good but uh, does it add value do people notice that actually well even i won't even notice it because the existing bar ends are looking fine as such uh going for the black or the or the aluminum finish one um not that interested and also the heel guard which is already an existing part of the vehicle let me show it to you on to this part here it's fine i mean i'm fine with that highlight it's not like uh mind blowing and all it's fine uh, it's fine it'll do the job it won't be noticed so eventually at the end this is what i was thinking of going forward with uh these are the customizations for now and other things like accessories for the helmet for the gloves and the jacket it will be in the upcoming videos when the rides are taking place or when i'm going to places for exploring so 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 okay so yeah so what is royal enfield going to bring out in the future is actually royal enfield want to bring customization they given us a blank uh, like portrait or a blank uh, canvas where we are we are going to add these components and give it our own flavor towards so it that's the concentration of royal enfield and in that process we will feel more connected towards the vehicle while customizing and the vehicle is like bad stock like the engine and uh, other components you can fabricate parts and also put on top of it the beauty about uh, uh, the actually is more like uh, making you pay more for Royal Enfield just for the customization. They're going to bring out more in terms of luggage carrying, which will be completely designed and suited for Royal Enfield. And wheels, uh, it's expected that they might come out with alloy wheels and a vehicle which looks a bit like vintage. Mm, okay. So, yeah, I will end this video over here. So, these are the few customizations which I want to do on my vehicle. I put down a list for the prices. Also, go check down. I'll put a link below in the descriptions. You can also go check it out. Until then, I think by next week I'll get a uh, vehicle. Yeah. Until then, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon if you really are interested to know how it is going uh, for me while I'm trying to buy the interceptor. And uh, thank you for that 10 subscribers. Uh, that, the just valuing the smallest things in life thank you very much for supporting the channel and 
uh, viewing it and giving all the thumbs up and all so until then see you in the next video bye